Hello, my friends. Uh, today, we are going to do a fun craft that you need paper, scissors, and glue. And that's it. So, um, we're gonna have a fun time using paper to make little decorations. This is one, it's a ghost, so fun. Um, and I made a giant black cat, also so fun. Uh, and the one that we're going to do together today is making a pumpkin. How cute is that? So you can really use this method to create whatever you like, and I hope you share it with me. Um, I have some orange paper, some paper for the stem, and some green paper for the leaf. So let's get started. So you're going to cut your paper into strips like this. Um, for a very small one, like our pumpkin here, you're going to use four. Um, for my black cat, gosh, what did I use? I think I used eight, maybe? Yeah, I think I used eight. Um, so that's just sort of like based on how big it is, how many holes you'd like, how see-through you want it to be. It's up to you. My little ghost friend was four um, as well. Um, and if you have paper, a gray sheet of paper, you're going to cut the long way. Um, unless you want a really, really tiny pumpkin, in which case you could cut the short way. But I have cut the long way. So, I'm gonna get your glue stick. And if you want the perfect center, you can fold just gently in half and sort of put glue right over that crease. I'm going to do the same thing here, gently in half, so we know about where the center is. Put it on the glue, stick it down nice and nice and well. All right, so we have one made, and we're going to do the same thing with these other two. I find it's easiest to make two um, plus signs, I guess you can call them, um, but you could just put this on top of here, it's up to you. Here, I'll make sure you can see this. Okay, so we've got our second one here. Great, I'm gonna stick that down. So now we have two plus signs like this, or crosses. All right, so now I want, which one do I want to be the bottom? This one will be the bottom. So we're gonna put glue on the center again, just like this. We're gonna take our cross and we're gonna rotate it so that the it's an X on top of a cross. See how that works? So we've got the bottom cross, and you just rotate it about 45 degrees um, so that the other one falls really nicely in the center um, of those other strips of paper. So now for the fun part you're going to put some glue on this one that's closest to you um just like this just enough i mean not very much at all probably just like a fingertips width and then you're going to take the one that is directly opposite and you're going to glue them together if you've ever made a paper chain it's just like that hold it there for a few seconds Good job. All right, then I like to turn it so we have the same situation. We're going to put glue on the one that's closest to us. Again, you don't need very much. And then we're going to um, pull it up here and glue it to the side. Mine aren't quite long enough to make um, make them overlap, so I've just been doing it like this. Um, I'm gonna turn it all the way around. Get that opposite one. Oops. Bring it up and hold it down. All right, so that was the, done that twice. I'm gonna do it twice more. Um, so we're gonna turn it so that this is close to us 
put some glue on it. Now, I don't like to bring it all the way to the center because I like my pumpkin to be a little fuller. So I bring it just about to the middle. I don't know if you can see. So you see how the, the flat edge here sort of lines up with the, the two points of these other things. Yeah, that's kind of how I like to put it together. Flip it around, put some more glue, make it meet, not overlap, but just meet in the middle. The only one that really needs to overlap is the first one. All right, looking pretty snazzy. Let's do two more times, just in the middle. Not too far, but not too loose. Press down, nice and tight. All right, one more. You're doing great, we believe in you. All right, make it meet. Might be a little hard to get your fingers in there, so I just like to squish it. Put my fingers, but I have big fingers. Maybe you have small fingers that can get in there without squishing it down. If you squish it down, that's okay. All right, now there's the base of our pumpkin. Oh yeah, so I like to hide the um, glued seams by flipping it over. Now you can see we've got this nice ball looking thing. Very cool. All right, so take whatever paper you have for the stem and you're just going to um, fold up maybe not even a quarter, just a little bit. See that? Not very much at all. Just enough so you can put some glue on the folded down part. And we're gonna stick it basically right in the center. I need to squish it down again so I can hold it. Hold it. All right. Then, if you remind it that it was folded, it'll stand up. Ah, looking so cute. Okay, now I have my leaf and uh, we don't even have to fold it. We're just gonna put a little bit right here on the corner. Looking good, looking good. All right, and it doesn't really matter what side of the stem, I'm gonna put it on this back side here. We're just gonna stick it, hold it there for a second, make sure it gets nice and good, and then Ta-da! You have made a tiny pumpkin! Oh, wow! All right, so, like I said, you can take this and make a ghost friend. Ooh. By doing the same thing with some white paper and then cutting out some ovals for the mouth and eyes. And you can do the exact same thing for a black cat. The reason I had to use so many strips for the black cat is because the paper was a little longer than your normal sheet of paper and I didn't want too many gaps so I just used a couple more strips and that's totally fine. It's up to you. You can do black, do some triangles for the ears, make some eyes out of some spooky color, make some whiskers out of sort of the same uh, idea, right? So you have the little nose holding them all together but they're just kind of spaced out on their side. Uh, and that's, that is our craft for today, my friends. Thanks for listening. And I hope that you show me all of your fun creations uh, for this craft. And I will see you next time. Bye.